day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Above all names. Amen. You know, so I'm going to bring up the, uh, this is a title that I have here. Uh, I, I put up here, and my, my slide says Jesus versus Joshua. Uh, but I, I, I put the name Jesus versus name Joshua. And, and what we need to make sure we understand that the name it's with more important the meaning of the name. That's what I'm trying to say. And maybe I even change the title when on, on YouTube so when I bring them out, you know, for the edit. This is a live version. Is knowing the meaning of the name matters. Jesus, Amen. The meaning of the name matters. We can get the meaning of the name. I cut the rest of them off so I get into my study. Hey. It, we don't let distractors stop the fact is that the meaning of the name is what we're trying to deal with today. It's the meaning of the name. The meaning is what matters. We can get the meaning of, of what we're talking about. That's all, I think if, if nothing else, be able to, to get the rest of you to know, focus on the meaning of the name. If you can focus on the meaning of the name, I think you, I think we, we, we make our, uh, we we'll earn our pay. Um, yeah, that was the last one for the day. We, we we'll earn our um, pay. This so, so I said, name Jesus versus name Yeshua, really is to understand that both of them, based on the translation to English. Or the translation in Hebrew means deliverer. You, you understand that? That's why I think it's important for us to know what the meaning of the name is. If we get the meaning, then I think we really will be able to uh, accomplish what God wants us to do on a mindset of a daily mindset, right? You, you need a daily mindset of salvation. Of deliverance, he's your he's deliverer. Let me go ahead and put these scriptures here first. Isaiah uh, forty three eleven said, "I even I am the Lord, and besides me, look at this. There is no savior." To me, that's a little fact. The fact is that Jesus Joshua is God in come down in the flesh to redeem us. Because he said right here, there is no savior besides me. Think about that. Besides me, there is no savior. He said it back in Isaiah. And Jesus is our savior. That means that Jesus is God sent this as the son to redeem us to save us. Some of you don't think you need saving. That's fine. You got all your lies. You got all your mistakes. You got all what we call as transgression. There's natural laws as well as, as, as the laws of God. You, you all have them. You have, you have sin. All have sin that comes short of the glory of God. And all of us ain't nobody. I don't care whether you, you, you take laws or or you take God's laws or man's laws or natural laws, you know you're violating those laws. You know good and well that it's not acceptable to, to just, uh, uh, just do what you want to do. You know when you do wrong. So you call it sin or you call it wrong. Wrong, how about that? Wrong or even as you know it, right? So the fact is that he's part of the, of, 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 of the whole body is God, you know what I mean? The, 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 the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, right? So, so what we're saying here is that in Isaiah 43, 11, I, even I am the Lord, and besides me, there is no savior. 
that only can mean that the anointed one, Jesus, which means Savior. Hey, glory to God. The, the, the Yeshua, Savior. Hallelujah. I mean, that mean, when they looked at that, that's what they mean. When they look at Savior, it has the meaning is Savior. So it says, I even I am the Lord, besides me, there's no Savior. Come to me because I'm your Savior. Come to me because I'm your Redeemer. Amen. Look at Isaiah 46, 44, verse 6. Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his what? Redeemer, the Lord, huh? Of hosts. I am the first, and I am the last. And besides me, there is no God. Come on now. That means he said, besides me, there's no savior. Besides me, there's no God. There's nothing compared to me. There's nothing equal to me. I, God is saying he is almighty God all by himself. And we're talking about a redeemer. We're talking about a savior. And I'm saying is to have that mentality, that mindset in your soul, in your spirit, of who he is. He is God all by himself. He ain't no small G. He ain't he ain't uh, 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 God for 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 for, for blacks and, and, and or God for whites or God for Hispanic or God for Jews. No, he's God Almighty by himself, creator of heaven and earth. Huh? I know man wasn't and that's what I'm saying. We were talking last week about supremacy and all that other junk. Hey. You're not above my God. I, I, you, it's not about you. It's about him. And you're not above him or you're not in between him and me. Hey, glory to God. I don't care whether you're black or white. None of you are between me and my God. He is God all by himself. And you'll never, nobody's going to be a God above, not above me that's going to be. <laughs> no. So supremacy. Well, I don't care what you are. You got to understand this. There's nothing between me and God. There's no other God. He even said that in the, in the commandment. There shall put no other God before me. So therefore, anybody wants to sit there and play this little stupid game, you kind of call it stupid, because you can't sit there and play superiority when you when you that means you are a step you are between me and god and you are not i don't care whether you're black i don't care if you're white i don't care whether you're jew or gentile okay you know there's the between there the only redeemer is our savior hey glory to god his name is joshua his name is jesus and there's a whole bunch of other languages out there that has a different spelling of savior see that's what i'm saying because it's 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 the knowing the meaning and i'm gonna keep man if we put that that may change the title knowing the meaning of the name the name is savior huh come on now there's only one savior there's no other savior besides god what that's what i got that scripture isaiah 43 says I even I am the Lord, and besides me, there is no savior. There's no savior better than me. I'm the one that can deliver you out of addiction. I'm the one that can deliver you out of the different types of things that people call sin. Me. Other people can sit there and give you counseling. Other people can sit there and give you uh, uh make you walk through and think it through. But God says, I am the deliverer, I am the savior. Hey, man, God, God, I like that. So I like Isaiah 44, 6 says, Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first, I am the last, and besides me, there is no God. Woo! And see, see think about we know the meaning of God. Hey, now, that, and, then, and then look, there's a God in this world. We're talking about Almighty God. Huh? There's some people said there yeah, after I heard recently said that uh, uh the 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 Jewish guy said <laughs> God told his God's will. He's doing it because of God's will. Huh? Well, obviously, 
you, I don't know what God you're talking about because you could have, like I said, there's some small G gods and maybe you're doing some small G God, but God is not telling you to blow those people up and kill those people, huh? But then any people sit there and play a little politics about last, you know, year for last and say, God said so and so gonna be promoted. Well, it didn't happen, so therefore God didn't tell you because it's Almighty God said it, it come to pass. And He don't need you to act like a fool to make if you don't if it doesn't come to pass. That means it didn't it wasn't God that said it. But people use God all the time, and we got to watch out for that. Look at Isaiah forty four eight. Fear ye not, neither be afraid. Have not I told thee? from that time and have declared it. Ye are even my witness. Is there God beside me? Yea, there is God. There is no God. I know not any. That's why, see, we know the meaning of God. And to the degree, I say God Almighty, because some people even abuse God and tell lies and say, if God said it, if God said it, if Almighty God said it, it comes to pass because he said it. Not because of people, not because of small G. Small G can't do what God, that's what God says in those scriptures. Besides me, there's no God. My word, God's word is final and you'll know it. That's what he said. You could be a false prophet and you sit there and say, God said. Reality. It's the word of God, man. Hey, look at this. He said, I am the Lord and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I gird thee, thou has not known me, though thou has not known me. Isaiah 45, 6 that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, if there is none else. Tell ye and bring them near, yea, let them take counsel together. Who has declared this from ancient time? Who has told it from that time? Have not I the Lord? And there is no God else besides me, a just God. And look at that, a savior with an S on it. There's none beside me. So what we're saying is that we know there's small G's and there's apparently a lot of small saviors, but we're talking about the almighty savior the anointed savior come on man let me come off this for a second let me make sure you get this we're talking about the almighty savior the anointed savior the messiah because that's another thing where i want to say the meaning of the name listen to this there's people the word yeshua was a common name for the jewish people this jesus is a common name for other people in in the world. The Hispanic used a J, call it Jesus or Jesus or, or Jesus, but it's spelled what Jesus, right? They know what they they, they didn't do it because they 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 uh, the Jesus was just oh that's just a name. No, they were honoring their savior, so they used the name Jesus. And then Joshua is another English translation of Joshua. And there's a lot of people named Joshua out there. And so you so I'm telling you, I say, so you can have small letters of Jesus or Joshua. But what we want to make sure that your meaning, the meaning that you have is almighty, anointed. <clears throat> That's what Christ means. At least nobody's calling themselves a Christ. Hey, <laughs> because they know what it means. The anointed one. They did call the chosen one by God. God himself is the anointed one. Huh? 
That's why he sent the son. Because it could be no other, it could, it couldn't be any other son. Huh? Because he was able to lay down his life and to be able to raise up again. Not everybody may want to call themselves a savior. Everybody want to call themselves uh uh who's what gate what do you call it uh who say or uh, whatever they how they call it gate gate i can't i can't pronounce it excuse me for that but they they spell it uh the hazel uh or or they to us we look at it says jesus right then there's people who say joshua they're the but they're not the joshua they're not the savior there's only one savior and you better be glad there's one savior there's a there's a first man adam adam which is what brother addison said last week as we i think i'm just saying that sometimes we take the we we water down the words and not understand that the words have meaning you know, we talked about the fact that death and life and the power of the tongue, because words have meaning. And we want, I want to be able to, nothing else in this message today is to understand there's a meaning behind the words we speak for our Savior. You call Jesus, but understand Jesus the Savior, Jesus the Almighty, Jesus the Redeemer jesus the savior huh come on now we talking about god and the power i want you to so it's not so much to say jesus versus yeshua it is jesus yeshua savior redeemer huh come on now anointed one come on now we want to make sure that the power comes behind the name so that people when you say you need jesus you need yeshua you're saying you need your redeemer, you need your savior, you need your deliverer. That's what you need for dealing with this world. The day you dwell in the secret place of the most high, which is in salvation, in your redeemer. Jesus said in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through the redeemer man come on bro but i just sit there and i preach my own self happy because the fact is that your savior no i just want you to know when you say jesus you're talking about redeemer you're talking about deliverer you're talking about savior and when you say it you're saying it with power you're talking about life huh he said i'm the way the truth and the life you're talking i'm going the way when I say Jesus or Yeshua. I'm going the way when I say I'm talking about the truth. When I talk, to, when I'm talking about the truth, he said, I'm the truth. What he said, he said is I'm the redeemer of the almighty God. I'm the deliverer. And I don't, I know there's people out there, small G, small S, and all that stuff, but you need to understand that I am talking about God, talking about Jesus, talking about Yeshua. You need to know the meaning behind the names, please. No, do, don't, if you don't do nothing else, remember the meaning behind the name. There's the meaning behind the name. You have to have that mindset about the meaning behind the name. Uh, Jesus, Yeshua means deliverer, means savior means redeemer come on now we're talking about the almighty deliverer the almighty savior come on now you have to get that in your mindset so when you preach the gospel you preach it with power that's why the the demons tremble it don't matter how we're going to translate it we can then we can go joshua in hebrew we can go jesus in english even a transliteration See, God said, I'm, I'm going by your heart. I'm going by your, you understand the meaning that this is my redeemer. This is my savior that I send you because that's me that I'm sending, huh? Whoa, glory to God. Now we're talking power. 
So, so, so when we have the name and understand the meaning behind the name, there's the power that goes with it. That's why the devils tremble when you start saying the meaning when you say it. In the name of Jesus, we're talking about God Almighty, huh? The Bible said every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus, Joshua, huh, is Lord. That's that's what we want to get. That's why you need to understand. That's why he even told those people, he told the demon when they were, they were calling the hand of the anointed one, the savior, the Christ, and tell me, I, I, ain't, I ain't come with that reputation. Let that reputation speak for itself when I sit there down that cross and rise again, because see, nobody else could do that. That's what we try to say, the uniqueness of our, of our belief is that no one could have done what he has done. No one could have put, let, gave their life and rose it back up again. No one, except for him. I heard somebody, somebody say, hey man, I, I need to, I need to, if you can legitimately, what do you mean legitimately? What, 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 what I mean, somebody said that. I mean, that if you can legit, le, legit, let me, <laughs> I mess all these words up. Legitimately, le, legit, legit, <laughs> uh, come up and prove that Christ raised, came from, rose up from the dead. And you ask yourself, what legal or legit? means that you want to present because how about anybody else how about adam how about enoch how about isaiah huh how about god coming and talking to the children of israel on mount Sinai? what 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 legitimacy are you looking for think about it if, if somebody says that it's like what 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 you're talking two thousand years ago plus. How are you gonna? What? 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 How are you gonna see? You? You asking? You asked the wrong question. It's about faith anyway. So you, those who don't want to get by faith, don't. Know, that's fine. But those who by faith recognize that Yeshua is your the redeemer, that Jesus is your redeemer by faith. Now we're talking. So I'm not here to talk about. What do you say is right or wrong? I just want you to make sure you understand what's the meaning behind it. Because if you don't get the meaning behind it, you you're not you're missing it all together. Because I think that's maybe that's why in 1500 they wanted to come with a transliteration because they think and they're trying to hide the the uh, the meaning behind the name. If you if if you Play, you see, you know, you can't use the meaning with superiority or racism and all that because you guys sit there and say, well, daddy, didn't they, aren't they redeemed? Did they receive Jesus Christ? Joshua? Aren't they redeemed? No, 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 they ain't redeemed. They ain't redeemed. No, 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 they ain't better than us. They ain't better. No, 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 they ain't better. But, but that's what, if they receive the Redeemer, does that make them equal as children of God and part of the body of Christ? No, 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 no. We we'll, 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 we just said Jesus. We just said Jesus. Oh, but don't talk about the fact that he redeemed. He redeemed everybody. But Daddy, the Bible says that whosoever believes in him, in Jesus, the Redeemer, Yeshua, the Redeemer, should not perish with everlasting life. Well, uh, dude, how does that, how does that, how does that mean when you say we're better than somebody? If they receive and they're part of the body of Christ, if they're children of God, how do you, how do we better than some other children of God? And why is, are they better than us based on the melanin of our skin or lack thereof? Think about it. See, that's a, that's a world construct. That's why we need, that's why I think it's so important to have the meaning so that when people sit there and, and they, you know, I'm saying that when people don't approve of you, you just need to know is my redeemer approves of me. 
approves of me. My Redeemer delivered me. My Redeemer has put a mansion for me in heaven. Huh? My Redeemer. My Redeemer forgave me. My Redeemer loves me. Maybe you don't love me, but see, that's, see, that's what I'm saying. When you get to the point, when you recognize that my salvation, my deliverance is in him, not people. You can have people sit there and try to get you. I was sitting there the other day with somebody sitting there, then you can hear them mouthing and, 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 and talking about you. And you sit there and you just ignore it because they have no power. That's what you need to understand. People don't have power over you. People try to get power from you to do something to you. But you need to understand that the power that I have is in God. 